Now, 55 year old Claremont man is now facing felony charges after being accused of sexually assaulting multiple women. A San Diego police investigators say the crimes happened at a massage therapy business in Mira Mesa, and police believe there could be more victims out there. Our Tony Shin starts us off live with what we're learning. Tony. Yeah, Andrew and Maria, the business that we are talking about used to be inside this building that you see behind me. But as you can see, there's no signage anymore because it is no longer open. And police say the suspect doesn't even have a license for massage therapy. We tried to contact Christopher Scott Preston at his Claremont home, but no one answered. Neighbors who didn't want to talk on camera described the 55 year old man as nice and quiet. But now Preston is accused of multiple felony sex crimes against three women. The first one coming forward in August of last year. We're a victim uh, said that she went to the um, 360 uh, wellness and consulting business to get a massage. Um, during the course of the massage, uh, she felt she was sexually assaulted and reported to the police department. But investigators say at the time, the accuser decided not to pursue the case. She was moving out of state, so she didn't want to move forward with prosecution. Detectives say the crimes happened inside this building on Dunbrook Road, where Preston operated a massage therapy business called 360 Wellness and Consulting. It has now been closed for several months, and police say Preston is not a licensed massage therapist. Then, last December, another accuser came forward. Where the victim reported to the police that she felt she was sexually assaulted also at this business. But police say that second accuser also decided not to move forward with the prosecution. Then in April of this year, a third accuser filed a report with police claiming she was groped by Preston. Investigators say they then put all three cases together with all of the victims agreeing to press charges. Investigators say Preston would often get clients from Groupon by advertising 50% off. And they believe some victims might be reluctant to come forward because they may not be sure if a crime was actually committed. A lot of type of these cases, um, the victims are either embarrassed to come forward like not knowing if, if that's part of the massage or not. That's why detectives want anyone who feels they may have been violated to contact them. As for Preston, he is now out on bail after being arrested on September 11th. And according to this criminal complaint, he faces five felony counts, including sexual battery. And he did go to arraignment. He has since been uh, released on supervised uh, released and uh, banned from doing any kind of uh, these type of businesses. Right now, Preston has to wear a GPS monitoring device while he is out on bail. By the way, if he's convicted on all five of those felony counts, he could get up to 11 years in prison. Reporting live in Mira Mesa, I'm Tony Shin for Fox 5 News. All right, Tony, starting us off, thank you.